And as promised, here he is, the Wolverine in his sweet mech suit. Hold one second and I'll give you a close-up of the Wolverine himself. I wasn't into Lego when the X-Men series of Lego came out, so I missed my chance on getting a couple of Wolverines. But for this being my first one, I have to say, I pretty much, I, I like it. It goes really well with the 1990s cartoon, even the comic books. He's got the sleeveless look going on. I love the fact he has claws with the blue gloves. He's got this great cowl. I believe it's a cowl or a mask. It's got real long fins. It's dual molded. There's the back of it. Molding on the uh, torso is really good. I like that he's got his belt with the X-Men logo. And that's his, without the cowl. So now we have his uh, angry look with his, uh, people. some people call it glasses. Uh, I just think they're just his uh, Ray-Bans and he's out enjoying uh, what he does for a living. And that's his other face. Good smile, like he's done a real good job. This is what it looks like with his eyes out. I don't really like that look. I actually do prefer the one where he's got the white right through it. That makes it more nostalgic for me. Uh, he does not have no printing on the legs at all. But that's alright. I'm good with that. It is a $10 set. He does have printing on the back. Uh, like I said, for my first Wolverine, I'm very pleased with this guy. And for the mech, I got him in the uh, great Osan Bolt uh, pose there. Looking pretty good. I do like that it has printed tiles instead of stickers. Because if anyone is like me, I'm terrible at putting stickers on anything model related. You don't ask me to put stickers on anything. But I do like that they are printed. Uh, I like the belt with the X on it. Then you got your chest plate, your two by two round tile with an X on it. Got it uh, on a hinge there. So you can put your character right there. It's got these long claws, real long. They kind of remind me, if you look at them close, they really remind me of like Final Fantasy games. I know there are a lot of mechs in the past have had them, but to me they just look like you would see them in a Final Fantasy game. They have that real, that real big end on them. He's got many ball joints on him. He's got three in the, each leg and three in each arm. You can get some really good articulation in this guy. Get him in every kind of pose you can think of. We put the old Wolverine back in there. When you do put your Wolverine in, make sure you have his arms and his claws all the way back. Much easier to get him into your mech. But you can get him in really unique poses like that. But what I have to, yeah. Here's a little closer look of the uh, box. I really do like the uh, artwork they have with all the stars in the background. Looking like he's just exploding, coming out like an action scene. I do like that uh, the color, you know, the, the color of the Wolverine kind of reminds me of the old cartoon show. The back of the box just shows Wolverine outside of his mech and all of his colors and like I said, this box is a really good looking box. The instruction manual matches the art cover on the box as well. There are 64 pages in the instruction book. The 65th page, sorry for the glare, is the other two sets that come in this series. You got Iron Man, and then you got Black Panther. Really good artwork on those sets as well. The purples and reds, that looks really good. Some of my favorite colors there. And now for the extra pieces. These are all the extra pieces you get. 
These are all the extra pieces. I put all my extra pieces in a big mason jar and save them up until I figure out what I'm going to do with them. I have to say it is a really good mech. Easy build. Simple enough for anybody. I do like it so much that I did buy two of them. One to build, one to keep sealed. Now would I approve of this build for anyone? Would I approve of this set for anyone? Let me think. My minion says yes. This set, we approve. Thank you for watching and have a grumptastic day.